Hey everyone, how are you doing? I feel like crap. <laughs> I was trying to vlog what I did today, but it was way too hot and I'm not feeling too well because your yeah, girl just got her period and when you got your period and it's humid weather, mm -mm. hate that combo. <laughs> But anyway, I'm back home. Um, so I ran some errands. I went to Target as per usual. Gotta get my usual stuff. But I'll do a little haul, I guess. Because it's almost summer and the mosquitoes are out, I have been putting this all over my body. I have this body oil. It's um, by a Aura Cassia, Aura Cassia. Um, it's a relaxing lavender. So apparently, mosquitoes hate lavender, and I love lavender. So I apply this every night before I go to bed. It has been working. Not going good. But anyway, yeah. And then I got a new foundation brush because. The one I had it from Sephora, I've had it for probably a year and a half now, but it's shedding like crazy and I hate it. So I bought a new one, heard this one is good and it's much cheaper. Um, I got the e.l.f. Selfie Ready Foundation Blurring Brush. So decided to try that. Um, and then I bought new pajama pants because I literally wear my leggings almost every day and I wear it to bed sometimes. Actually, I always do. <laughs> so I thought I'd just buy some real pajama pants. Um, I got this, this one right here. And then after that, I went to Goodwill because I feel like I need some new pieces in my wardrobe. I wear the same thing all the time, which is not bad. Um, I still love my clothing. I, you guys see me wearing this a lot, but it's my favorite top, so yeah. Um, but the thing is that I feel is lacking in my wardrobe is that I don't have a lot of like patterns or prints. Um, the closest thing to a pattern are my striped shirts. <laughs> um, but I've been wanting to get back into, I guess, florals. Um, if you didn't know this, fun fact, I used to be a fashion blogger. Not the best one, but I was one. And mm, this was back in the day when I used to hoard and I used to go shopping for clothes all the time. I used to wear a lot of color, a lot of prints, um, but I got rid of all of that and now my wardrobe is so simple, but I like to have at least one or two pieces that is like my statement piece, I don't know, <laughs> but something that looks fun and girly because I feel like I'm just so plain Jane. Um, so I got this thing, I don't know what you call it, but it's like a wrap blouse cropped thing what do you call this I don't know but yeah I'll insert a photo of me wearing it in the dressing room but yeah I really love this print look how pretty it is I never thought I'd get back into like polyester I don't have anything polyester in my wardrobe right now but I really want to get it but yeah so my current style muse is Jeanne Damas. Did I say Jeanne? Jeanne? Jeanne Damas. She is like my style icon. She's a French model and she's inspiring me to get bangs again. I never thought I would say I'd get bangs again because I used to have bangs like back in 2010. Um, kind of scared, but it looks so cute on her. So I was like, and all these other girls have fringes, so I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I get bangs 
a fringe that's on my mind right now so yeah so her style is pretty similar to this well she I don't really see her wear florals but she's very much into like wrap dresses um, and tops so yeah and then I got this thing it's this plaid tunic dress um so it's by Old Navy and the good thing is that it's in my size and it's for tall girls like me so this is perfect and I can wear it as like a cardigan type thing so I'll have it open up and then wear a tank and maybe some jeans I don't know but I like the fit of this and after that I went to Best Buy because I need to get a new SD card um, I was hoping to get the 64 gig but I couldn't find the one that I wanted to get and the other ones are way too expensive so I got the 32 gig for now my bed is a mess and I actually need to start my laundry it's kind of late now it's like 6 12 um so i gotta get started on that and yeah What's wrong with me? <laughs> anyway, an hour or so later, I'm here eating a piece of greasy pizza. It's good though. Can't deny it. Um, with a side of Hershey's, which I still haven't eaten. But anyway. So, no drawing today. I'm sorry. But, yeah. I just want to rest today and just finish my laundry. Um, but for my next video, I actually want to do a speed drawing video, um, along with some talking, because there's actually, um, a question that I received in one of my older videos, I think I got it like a couple months ago, but I was thinking about whether or not I should just reply to that person or make a video about it, so I thought... I finally decided that I'd make a video about it. Um, so I think it's a very important thing to talk about because I feel that like a lot of people are going through the same things and I've been through it. Um, so it's regarding art block and all that stuff. So I love to talk about it and put my two cents in there. So yeah, I would just love some suggestions from you guys on what I should draw because I seriously am very uninspired, so I love to hear your feedback. Um, but honestly, you guys know that I love drawing food. That's like one of my one of my main things right now. So anything um, with food, list it down below, and I'll think about it. Um, not people though, because honestly, I'm really just trying to avoid drawing people. I don't really enjoy drawing portraits anymore. I don't know. It's just. Maybe in the future, but right now I just don't enjoy drawing people. Um, I mean, for Urban Sketch, I'm okay with it, but as far as like portraits go, nah. Um, but if not food, if there's anything like scenery that you'd like to like me to draw, let me know. Um, yeah, so leave some comments down below. I love to read them and see what I'd end up picking. <laughs> um, before I go, I want to thank you all for, I replied to everyone, or mostly everyone on that video, but I think on my vlog when I was talking about why I don't do slice of doodles or outdoor videos anymore, um, I want to thank everyone that um, commented on that video because I didn't even mention it on my video, but a lot of you guys suggested that I start a Patreon page. So, I will eventually. <laughs> um, I'm actually just brainstorming 
um, ideas and what type of rewards I would like to add. But I'd also like to hear suggestions as well. For those of you who are willing to support me when I do have a Patreon page, I would love to know what type of rewards you would like for me to have on there. So it could be anything. Um, I'm open to suggestions um, because that's one of the things that I've been struggling with is just trying to think of rewards that I know I can hopefully stick with because if you've been here for a while, you know that I get to, I tend to get tired of things easily. So I want to be able to stick with, I mean, I know you can change rewards, but I don't want to have to change it every so often. So I want to pick rewards that I know I can really stick with. So leave some suggestions down below. I don't know when I'm going to start it up, but I'm hoping this year, hopefully during the summer, because I think I'm going to be pretty slow at my job. So I'll probably have a little bit more free time so I definitely want to start my patreon page pretty soon so yeah um, again thank you all for those comments it really just warms my heart to know that there are people out there who are willing to support me and <laughs> gets me all emotional but yeah I loved reading those comments so yeah um, anyway I'm gonna go finish eating my pizza and I think my laundry needs to be put in the dryer now, so yeah. <laughs> okay, that's about it. I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!